From Tarzan to Mowgli to George of the Jungle, fiction is filled with tales of humans raised by animals. But what if we told you that some real children have been cared for by animals instead of people? Yes, it's true. Some children have had a genuine Jungle Book style experience, growing up with wild animals as their caregivers. These are kids who were raised by wild animals. Number 8. Siberian Boy Raised by Dogs Andra Tolstik was discovered in a remote part of Siberia when he was seven years old. He had been raised by wolves from the age of three months, after his parents had abandoned him in 2004. Andrew was found by social workers who were concerned the boy hadn't been enrolled in his local school. Born with speech and hearing problems, his wayward mother had left him in the care of his alcoholic invalid father. He too gave up on the boy and soon disappeared. The family lived in the hamlet of Bespolovskaya. Their house was so remote that their absence went unnoticed and Andrew was forced to seek help from the family guard dog. His very existence had been forgotten. When found, Andrew could not talk, walked on all fours, bit people and sniffed his food before eating it. He was basically feral, but he had survived. Known as the dog boy by many, he was moved to a shelter for orphans and encouraged to mix with other children. Unfortunately, when he first arrived, most were afraid of his aggressive and erratic behavior, but he quickly mastered the art of eating with a spoon, making his own bed, playing with a ball, and walking on two legs. Number 7. Raised by Goats in the Andes In 1990, a 12-year-old boy was found in the Andes, Peru. It's believed he spent eight years living alone with just a group of wild goats for company. The boy, who was later named Daniel, was discovered in the mountains of Peru and is said to have survived primarily on goat's milk and roots and berries found in the area. How the child had come to be there remains a mystery, but he had adapted to his goat family's way of life, right down to the way they walked. When he was found, he was easily moving around on all fours on rocky and hilly areas. His hands and feet were so calloused that they resembled actual goat hooves. He was given the name Daniel by a team from Kansas University and Kansas State University who were intrigued by his unusual story. They spent time with the boy and confirmed his language skills were almost non-existent. He was, however, able to communicate with the goats who he considered his family. The rest of his story remains a mystery. The Andes goat boy appears to have no human family, well, at least not one that's interested in being found. Number 6. The Mountain Boy of Spain this Spanish-born feral child was sold to a hermit goat herder when he was just seven years old. After his master died, Marcos Rodriguez Pantoja was left alone with the wolves in the Sierra Morena mountain ranges. Many years later, he was returned to civilization at 19 but had difficulty adjusting. In fact, when he sat in front of a bowl of soup, he had no idea what to do. Cupping his hands, he plunged them into the bowl and promptly burned himself on the boiling liquid. The plate ended up in pieces on the floor, and poor Marcos was terrified. He hadn't eaten at a table since he was a small child and had no idea what was happening. With just wolves, goats, snakes, and other animals for company over a 12-year period, Marcos was devoid of any social skills and had to learn from scratch. Having suffered years of beatings at the hands of his stepmother, he preferred the solitude of the mountains and had made no attempt to seek human company. Fortunately, the goat herding hermit had taught him to hunt rabbits and partridges with traps made of sticks and leaves, so Marcos never went hungry. He said he established a special bond with the animals, and they were his guide. Whatever they ate, he ate. Number 5. The Boy Who Was Raised by African Monkeys It would certainly appear that if there's any animal we can rely on in the wild, it's a monkey or several in this case. A little boy named John Sibunia was found by a tribeswoman in 1991. He was hiding in a tree in the forest by the Kubonji village near Bombo, north of Kampala. He had fled from his father years prior after he had witnessed him murdering his mother, and he had been living with African monkeys ever since. After finding the boy, menfolk from the village tried to take him back with them, but he resisted, even his adoptive family came to his defense, throwing sticks at the villagers. His years of living in the wild had left him with scars, many of them physical, but most emotional. John's entire body was covered with hair. His face was covered with the hair, he was full of worms, and his knees were scared from crawling. 
he was put into the care of Paul and Molly Waswa, who ran a charitable foundation for orphans. They taught him to speak and also sing. In fact, so great was his singing voice that he toured with the Pearl of Africa Children's Choir and was the subject of a BBC documentary, Living Proof, in 1999. Number 4. The Ostrich Boy, a boy named Hadara. Lost by his parents at the age of two, Hadara roamed the Sahara Desert alone before meeting up with a family of ostriches. Now, these birds aren't exactly known for their kind and caring personalities. In fact, they're downright terrifying and not to be approached, at least the ones that I've seen. So it might come as a bit of a surprise that these extraordinary birds decided to take a helpless little toddler under their wing, so to speak. Today, ostriches are only found natively in the wild in Africa. They are known for their nomadic tendency and primarily hunt in the morning and the evening in groups of up to 50. Males are extremely territorial and aggressive, but fortunately, the ostrich boy, as he's often referred to, was only met with kindness. Perhaps they understood his plight, possibly more so than he did. Whatever the reason, the ostriches welcomed him into their family and raised him until he was rescued and taken back to society and his parents at the age of 12. Many are skeptical of the authenticity of this tale, as Hadara had no difficulty adapting to life with his parents. He learned to read and write and later married and had children. In 2000, his son, Amedu, helped Swedish author Monica Zach to retell his father's story. The book is a mixture of Hadara's stories and Zach's own fantasy. Number 3. Raised by Birds Vanya Yudin Hadara wasn't the only child believed to be raised by birds. Vanya Yudin, a little Russian boy, was also cared for by a group of feathered friends. Referred to by news agencies as the Russian bird boy, Vanya was found by Russian caseworkers in 2008. At the time, he was just seven years old and unable to speak. It was obvious that he had been surrounded by birds for a long portion of his life, as he did nothing but make chirping noises and flack his arms as if they were wings. But there's one big difference between Vanya and other feral children that have been rescued from the wild. Vanya actually lived with his mother in a two-bedroom apartment. The apartment was filled with bird cages and dozens of birds. The little boy had befriended them all, as his mother never spoke to him, instead just treating him like another bird. Vanya adapted the only way he knew how, developing a bird-like identity to get attention. Number 2. Mowgli Girl, Feral Child Raised by Monkeys this tale of a little girl abandoned in the wild may not be all that it seems. The Mowgli girl was rescued by Indian police in early 2017. She appeared to be living with a colony of monkeys in the Katani Agat Wildlife Sanctuary, not far from the Nepal border. There's been some confusion about her age due to her size, but the girl was believed to be between 8 and 12 years of age. The police were on a routine patrol in the area and discovered the child, who can neither speak nor behave like a normal human being. Her story captured national and international attention, but many believe that she couldn't have lived in the wild undetected for as long as first thought. No one seems to know exactly how long she was there, but she exhibited some violent animal-like behavior when she was first hospitalized. The city hospital doctors who were treating her said that she very quickly began walking and eating normally, and although she didn't speak, was able to understand what she was being told. At the time, police told the New Indian Express that it appeared she had lived with the monkeys since birth, though this is pure speculation. Another possibility is that the girl was mentally and physically disabled and abandoned by her parents, who were struggling to make ends meet. Number 1. Missing Indian Girl Returns After 38 Years Imagine spending almost 40 years in the Indian jungle. Aged just four, Ang Shady went missing from a tiny village in Saiha in the southernmost district of Mizoram, bordering Myanmar. Now 42, she has finally been reunited with her family after being found living naked in a cemetery nearby. Villagers had heard talk of a jungle girl for decades but dismissed the claims as idle gossip. But now, it has been confirmed that the missing girl was Chidi, who has finally been reunited with her father, Ang Chala, and her mother, Ang Angola, after 38 years. Live in or off the pair thought they would never see their daughter alive again and had almost given up hope of ever doing so. Chidi and her cousin, Beiraku, went missing in 1974. They were out playing in the jungle's fields and trees next to their village when they disappeared. 
A day later, Beraku was discovered beside a stream, but Chidi was nowhere to be found. Villagers suspected ghosts took the girl, as they believed the forest was haunted. The family searched the entire forest for months, but there was no trace of her. When found, she didn't remember anything from her past. Her parents tried to rekindle her memory but failed. If you think feral children are only found in fairy tales, think again. Although rare, they do exist. Tragically, there are over 100 documented cases of children raised by animals and living alone in the wild. After spending years in such uncivilized conditions, many struggle to adapt to human life once they are found. It's hard to believe, but it's true.